Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The market fell very heavily on Friday for the Australian dollar and with the ADX still supporting the bear case, looks towards its objective of 64.8090. With much to digest from last week, the eyes are still on the downside as the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, rallies now to a fresh 20-year high around 112.80 and therefore could actually see a further extension up towards 112.13 and reassess from there. Looking at the intraday pattern and also the broader pattern, the market will pressure this downside and a break of 64.80 could give further scope down towards 63 cents. If the dollar does increase its momentum and therefore could see the bears continue its way on the Australian dollar, but we are oversold. But what is in its favour is the trend is relatively firm and therefore does expect to see at least one test at this level. But keep an eye in case we get a response from the bulls, but if not, then the market may head, as I feel, lower and extend this decline towards 63 cents. The euro, well, that market has reached its objective, which was seen at 96, 40, 80, as we now trade around 96 and a half. It is concerning that the bears are still weighing on this market as the dollar continues to rally as much Fear is still that the U.S. may go in, in recession due to the hiking of aggressive interest rates after last week's 75 base points and also indicated further to come. As we look at the Fed dot plot, pricing suggests that the Fed fund rates may actually go around 4.25 to 4.5 after last week's rise was around 2.5 to 3.25. Looking at the pattern, if the market does take out the level of 96.40, then I feel there is an extension coming in around 92 as a potential target. The trend is strengthening and therefore could see further risk to the downside. Viewing the dollar yen story after that whipsaw price action due to the Bank of Japan intervening, it would seem that the balls are back again and taking the market back up to that top side level around 145 as we now challenge 144. It should be assessed, though, if we do get back to that 145 level, the Bank of Japan will intervene again and no doubt send this similar price action. So do be on your guard if you are trading from this top side. The fact is that we could see another whipsaw price action and see another tumble, potentially back to 139.5. Very heavy sell-off that we can see here for the sterling. After taking out the level of 111, the market has plummeted. Now for extending it, that is, towards the region of 101. Two very heavy declines and now puts the intraday extremely oversold. But the bears are still challenging this downside until we get a response that is from the bulls, which we're not seeing as of yet. Two strong bear candles. So let's see if the market does continue and reach around that 101 level and reassess. Looking at gold, well, the downside objective was achieved and that was at 1,635.42 as we trade there. If the market doesn't uh, recognize this as a level of support, then we could see further risk and go towards 1,600 and reassess. Wrapping up with oil, well, the market is still somewhat heavy after taking out the support level of $81 a barrel and now looking down towards 78 as a potential target with the dollar strengthening. And it has put the bears in a slightly better position to take the challenge to 78. And a break beneath there gives little scope until the region that is around $65 sorry, or 66 around that area as it's a big gap from the month for these. So do keep an eye on that level of 78. We did get a bullish response close to there, but not as in favor of supporting the recovery. So we may see further negative price action from oil as well as the dollar strengthens. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, a kind of financial report. I hope you enjoy the great start to the new week.